Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful crocheted beaded necklace and earring set. We're going to start with our basic supplies. I have a pair of needle nose pliers here. Actually I have two pair. And this particular pair, if I flip it over, see it also has a wire cutter in it. But I always you know, like to have an, an extra wire cutter and this is our wire cutter. Um, needle nose pliers. Here's another pair of needle nose pliers. I also have just some basic beading wire. I have my fisheye hooks for my earrings. And I have my, my eye and my hook for the necklace to close it. I have my um, small beads, uh, clear beads with the silver inserts. I have some burgundy or a deep red crystal beads. And I have them in a small size and I have them in a large size as well. I also have my crochet hook and this is a size G. And I also have my snips because this wire is pretty thin that is so flexible that sometimes it's hard to cut it with a wire cutter that the snips work easily so I can just snip it with the snip. Now to start with I've taken our beads and I've kind of spaced them a little bit. I've taken the larger crystal and I've alternated by putting two of the small clear beads in the middle. Then I put the smaller of the two crystals and then two more beads. I've continued that right on until we get all the beads wrapped all the way around our bead palette. And also you see here I have the design for my earring, my matching earring. I have two of the little smaller crystal beads here and the, the small burgundy ones with more crystals and another small burgundy one and another crystal at the top and we're going to play around with that when it's time to make our neck our um, earrings so let's get started with making our necklace to start our necklace we're going to take our beading wire you're going to leave it on the roll you're not going to cut it you're just going to take your beads and i'm going to start with um, the two small ones that i have here and I'm going to thread the beads one at a time, or if you can find a way to do it more than once, then go for it. But we're going to take the beads and we're going to put them in, on the um, beading wire. And you're going to make sure that you insert them in the exact same way that you have your pattern. Because if you make a mistake and you decide, oh my word, I have just gotten my pattern all out of whack. Well, guess what? You got to start all over again. So you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that you got them lined up exactly the way you want them. And then you can start with the construction of the necklace. So let's get all of our beads loaded on our beading wire so that we can get start crocheting the necklace. I'm down to the last of the beads. I'm inserting the last few onto the wire. We've just got two more of the little crystal ones here. And then we've got one of the larger red ones. And now I have two more of the small clear crystal or the silver beads because when you put these on they, they look silver okay so let's move our palette carefully out of the way because we still got our beads for our earrings on there okay and as you notice this is what you should end up with when you've got all your beads on there and you see if you line it up all your beads should match up together and you've got the same pattern on both sides as you have on the other side now this is where the fun part starts so now we've got all of our beads um, onto our beading wire. So we're ready to start crocheting. So what you're going to do, as always with crochet, you want to leave a nice little um, thread tail of your beading wire. So let's do our slip knot to get our crochet started. One thing about crocheting with wire, it is very slippery. So you have to kind of work with it. I'm going to insert the crochet hook and I'm going to tighten it up. And you have to kind of hold on to both tails because it will tighten and slip off. Then what we're going to do is you're going to take your beads and slide your beads as close to the crochet hook as you can. And then I'm going to start with one bead at a time and I'm going to do a um, chain one. I'm going to grab another bead and I'm going to do another chain one. And what you're doing is you're just doing one chain in between each of the beads. 
And what it's going to do when you're finished, it's not going to be a straight um, necklace. It's going to have some character and design to it. It's almost going to have like a bulky look, which, you know, those kind of necklaces are really popular now. So you're just going to keep crocheting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right here because I want to show you. This is a piece of the wire. Let me move this out of the way. This is a piece of the wire that I had crocheted and I undid. So you see the wire starts out by being straight. And then when you crochet it, this is what you get. You get like this little curly little design. So you can imagine your necklace is going to kind of curl around. So I just want to kind of show you guys that. Um, so we'll go back to crocheting now. So now we're going to go back and do another bead. And like I said, you're going to crochet around each one. And you're just doing a chain stitch, a simple chain stitch. So if you can do a simple chain stitch, there's lots you can do with crocheting your jewelry. And I think this is a, a unique, interesting way to make a necklace because you, you combine the, um, the craft of making jewelry with the craft of crocheting. It's like you kind of merge them, so to, so to speak. But I want you to see what I was talking about here. So as you can see, you're getting that design already where it's kind of curling around. But let's continue to do a little bit more because, um, like I said, it's kind of slippery. So you kind of have to, you know, slide the beads down and hang on to your, your um, beading wire because it will slip off the hook for you. So we're going to continue to do this. And you can make it as loose or as tight as you want. So... But you want to make sure all your beads stay in place. So you're going to do this all the way till you get to the end of the necklace. And then and I'll show you how beautiful this is going to be. I just kind of love doing creative things. Something different out of the ordinary. Taking items that, you norm, that normally don't go together. Like a crochet hook and jewelry. Normally don't go together. But I like to put them together because, like I said, it's, it's your project. You can make what you want. And as you can see, it's beginning to take shape now. And we're going to continue this on out until we finish the necklace completely. Okay, now as you can see, I'm almost to the end of my beads. I've only got about six more beads. So I'm just going to continue to crochet the balance of the six beads. I'm going to slide them down to my crochet hook and try to hang on to them. And crochet them down. You know, this is a very, very therapeutic um, craft. I enjoy crocheting so very much. It's very relaxing. And a lot of times when I crochet things, I just didn't do it just for the enjoyment. So I like to donate my crafts to, you know, needy people. And I, I probably donate this necklace to the local um, shelter for battered women because I'm sure that, you know, they have a lot to deal with in their lives. And one of the few things they probably get an opportunity to do is to wear something really beautiful and pretty that you know somebody handcrafted so I think I'm going to donate this necklace along with a couple of more okay so now we've got all the ne all the necklace done all the way to the end so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to pull it out so that it stays together now as you notice it's got the little curly action going on which that's what I love about this I love the fact that this necklace is taking on its own character see how it, you can stretch it and the good thing about this beading wire it's so flexible that you can stretch it out. See how I've got it stretched nice and straight, but watch when I let it go. See, it just takes on a different shape all to itself. So when you've got it on, as you can see, it has a lot of character. And that's what I like about it. That's what makes it so different. So now we're ready to um, complete our necklace. And let's get our parts as we had before uh, mentioned in the beginning. I've got these two um, closures. I'm going to take one end of the beading wire and I'm going to insert it into one of our closure end pieces. And what you're going to do is bring it as close as you can to the bead, not all the way down to the bead. And you're going to tie a couple of knots. Well, you're going to wrap it around and tie one knot first. And then I'm going to take the tail and I'm going to go through the first chain in our crochet and pull it through. I'm going to do that a couple of times. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to cut it really close so that the thread tail is not sticking out. Now you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. I like to cut some of the tail off that I have because it's really kind of long now. Okay. So now that's wrapped around. And now we're ready to close it off. And now our necklace is complete and we've put our closures on. So 
it's like a T and an O, and it's just a matter of taking the little T or the little bar and putting it inside the hole. And now it's closed, and see how beautiful the necklace has turned out? And see how it's got its own character? I think it turned out very nice. Now we're going to make our earring that matches our necklace. And as you see, I've already got the first one done, so I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm going to take this apart so you can see the different parts. As you can see, I started with the head pin, and the head pin is called a head pin because it almost looks like a nail. It's got like a nail top on it. And we're going to take it, and I'm just going to in insert one of the silver beads, another silver bead. I'm going to do one of the red beads, and I'm going to do another silver bead. And then I'm going to do the final of the red beads. Come on here. And I'm going to do the final silver bead. And one thing I like about the head pins, you can pick your beads up with it. And you see the head pin keeps the bottom bead on so it doesn't come off. So that's what it looks like before we, we shape it to add our earring hook. So now we're ready to finish off our earring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the wire cutters and I'm going to cut about three quarters of an inch off of the wire of the um, head pin. And this is going to be used to wrap around our earring hook. So I'm just going to cut it. And by cutting it now, we are ready to wrap it. So we're going to take our hook and we're just going to put it on top. Now this is where your needle nose or the round nose um, pliers come in. And you're going to take them and you're just going to make a circle. And you're going to wrap the circle around the eye hook or the eye of the, the um, earring hook. And there you have it. We're just going to take these. I happen to have a little cover here that earrings go on. And I'm going to insert that in there. And there we have, move all this out of the way, show you how pretty this is. We have our beautiful earrings. And we have this lovely, beautiful necklace that is like a choker that goes along with our earring set. Now isn't that just gorgeous? Happy crocheting!